Hello and welcome to this short introduction to the FEET1 practical. So this practical is the practical where you can start analyzing your first fMRI data set. And the data set you're going to work with um, is the exact same data set that we used as an example in the GLM talk, um, i.e. the word generation data set. Um, and just to remind you quickly what it was, so we have three types of events in this data set or in this experiment. The first is word generation events where a noun is presented and the volunteer is asked to silently generate in his or her head a verb that goes with that noun. The second type of event is word shadowing events where the subject is presented with a verb already and is instructed to only repeat silently in his or her head that verb. And finally we have the null events and the null events nothing happens and they are there to make sure that there is a baseline against which we can compare the word generation and word shadowing events. Um, the next thing you're going to be asked um, in the practical is just load your data and just follow the instructions and you'll be fine. Um, and in general, the, the, the instructions are, I mean, they're good instructions for this practical, just follow the practical. And, and all I'm doing in this little introduction is, is to just you know, show you a couple of things that might be worth you know, pointing out a little bit extra. And what I'm doing here is I'm just warning you of a potential little gotcha, and that is when you click this button to say select 4D data, this window will appear, and in this window you will press that little button, and when you do that then this window will appear. So we're fine, but sometimes if you have a very busy screen um, with lots of windows open, um, and given that these windows they do open in slightly unpredictable and random places, you might not notice them or they might get hidden among your windows. So you just know to look for them because then this is what is going to happen and this is how you're going to select your files and this is not limited to selecting the, the data, this is you know, other selections in the queue and will have similar properties. Right, so the next thing um, you're going to be asked to do after you have you know, loaded the data, followed the instructions there, is to start setting up your model. And as you start setting up your model, what you will be asked to do is to select a file, a text file called wordgeneration.txt. And what this is, is simply as I said, is a text file, and it contains the onset times of the events of type word generation. So the first value, the first row of the first column here, tells us that is 49 seconds after the start of experiment is when the first word generation event is presented. And the second one is presented after 67 seconds, etc. And what this does, or what FEET does, when you present it with this text file, is to simply generate this train of stick functions that you saw in the GLM talk. Now the next step in setting up the model is to specify this, the hemodynamic response function. And you do that in the GUI by selecting double gamma HRF. And together, so this fine line here gives us this, this train of sticks. The double gamma HRF here gives us the HRF here. And feet will for you do this convolution and generate this predicted response in the brain, which is what we're going to use in our model. Right. So when you've set it all up, so when you have specified the EVs for the first and the second event type, your model should look something like this. Now what I haven't done here is I haven't included the contrast that you are instructed to include in the practical. And the reason I haven't done that is because you are supposed to do that on your own and figure out those, those contrasts on your own. So I, I didn't want to you know, sort of tip you up too much there. Um, but one thing that could be interesting to have a little look at is to compare this, the first column here, the word generation column, with this vector, which is our predicted responses that you remember from the talk. So if you start out here, you can see that it's a long period when nothing really happens in terms of word generation. And that's the same is true in this column, nothing really happens. And then what we have is we have one, two, so sort of scattered events, and this will happen one, two scattered events. And after that, there's a little burst of events of word generation type, 
And that's what we're seeing here. And if you keep going in this column and along with this vector here, you will see that these are indeed the same. So you have now sort of finished uh, uh, setting up the model and you just follow the instructions and you keep going. Now, the next thing I just want to mention a few words about is the creation of a mask that will be used or you will be using as a region of interest for feed query. Um, and that is where you then use feed query to uh, um, ask or, or, or to, to visualize your results and see the results of the outcome of, of your of your study. Um, so just follow the instructions here. Um, and you're going to end up with something like this. No, not, not exactly like this. But so what I've done here is I've used the Julish uh, uh, histological atlas, uh, picked up Broadman area 44 and Broadman area 45 on the left hand side. I've already saved them as you are asked to do in the practical as BA44 and BA45. What I've done in addition is I've changed the column map for BA45 so that you can just see the, the two different um, areas uh, 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 together here. Um, a little gotcha that I should, you know, at least it, it gets me, it gets me. And that is these file list boxes here. Sometimes when you look at the, the bottom here and you see this empty, you might think that, okay, that, that's the end of the list, there's nothing more in the list. But if you look at this scroll bar here, you can see, well, actually, the list goes on a little longer. So don't think that is necessarily the end of the list just because the, the last line is empty. You, know, you, you might be able to scroll further down and see more things in the list. What this is, um, so this is the, the, the file or the, the, the mask you will get if you follow the instructions and you run the FSL maths command, you load it back into Fossilize, and this is what it's going to look like. And this is the region of interest you're going to use in feed query. And finally, this is what your feed query setup should look like. And this is what your results or the output of feed query should roughly look like. Um, and you know, with this, I am just telling you to go on, do the practical. Um, and if there are any problems at all, just ask. Thank you very much.